we've seen you go through your fair share of relationships in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Where are things with you and Nick now? Are you completely done? You know, Nick is in my day-to-day -day life right now. Really? I have just chosen to keep that part of my life a little bit more private because I saw that the more I introduced the world into it, the more issues and the came, more opinions. You yeah, had. the more issues and just yeah. the more opinions that came my way. And I feel like I'm at a point in my life right now to where I am. I'm 24 years old. And one of my best friends, I remember having a conversation with her and she was like, Savannah, you're going to be a completely different person at 24 then you are 27 and that you are at 30 she was like just take your time yeah, you're a different person from week to week i know right <laughs> says your brother no, right. and so i think i'm just in a phase in my life to where i'm figuring out who i am as a person and i've got my cosmetic line sassy by savannah that's launched and i'm continuing to grow that coming out with hair accessories and blow dryers and there's so many different projects going on in my life right now that I'm like, everything can kind of move at snail's pace. Yeah. I'm, I wanna make sure that, like dad said, when you get married, it's forever. Yeah. I don't wanna bring a child into this world and have that child suffer the consequences of me being immature and wanting to get married just because I think it's the cool thing to do. Yeah. So I wanna make sure that I'm mature enough to take that next step. And the person that I'm with is mature enough to take that next step. And I don't feel like you I should agree. treat people like they're disposable either. Mm -hmm. And that's been the biggest thing with Nick is there's so many things that we don't agree on, but then there's so many things we do agree on. Mm -hmm. And just because you disagree with someone doesn't mean you throw them away. So are you and Nick dating? We, yes. Okay. Yes. So we are. Exclusively. We, Yes. Okay. And and snail's pace is good. Yeah. Sassy Savannah is on the move. <laughs> She's doing her thing. Yes. That's okay. You, know, you I are think, young. You know, we're we're actually proud of, you know, our children seeing these things mm -hmm. and saying, okay, we need to pump the brakes. Yeah. The wedding is off, and so is the engagement. When Savannah came to us and and said, I'm not ready to move forward with this wedding, um, she was devastated to tell us that. And I said, honey, don't you worry about it. Were you afraid that you were disappointing them or? I think there was a little bit of that, but the, and there was also, I think it more so it was my insecurities and feeling like I have failed this relationship. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard having a relationship in the spotlight. And also with the person that I'm with is not used to this life either. And it's been really hard on him as well. I want to make sure that when that day comes and I walk down an aisle, I know without a doubt that it's forever. Yeah, because so. I'm only paying for it once. I know, so <laughs> I got to make the most of it. I Thank think you. you're stunning. I think you're sweet. You are everything that Julie and I have dreamed of. OK, you remember our deal. You mm -hmm. said you weren't going to be extra, and the dial's kind of turning. I'm on one. We need to be on zero. zero. What about Miss? Emmy, mm. what about her? Is she still in the picture? Because uh, you know, Emmy and I, we've kind of, we went through a rough patch and we decided to go our separate ways. Did you? Yeah. I'm sorry, because I felt like we, we, I feel like we see you shopping for engagement rings this season. Yeah, yep. you see me do a lot of foolish stuff. It's no, <laughs> nothing new that you haven't seen but for nine what, seasons. But you know what? It's what they have to go through. So are you single, ready to mingle, or are you? I'm, j I'm single. You're single. <laughs> Ladies, Chase is available. Hit him up on the IG. Trust me, you don't have to make that announcement. Oh, I know. I'm sure he makes it very well known. <laughs> what are y'all doing? None of your business. People leave their kids all the time. Let's be those parents. Congrats to the whole family on season nine, Chrisley Knows Best, and we've got season three of Growing Up Chrisley. In one word, describe what it means to be a part of the Chrisley family. Love. Yeah? Just blessed. What would you say, Todd? Very fortunate. Okay. And what about you, Julie? Sure. Chaotic. Yes! <laughs> yes! The queen has spoken. Mama, keep it real. <laughs> yes. Did the two of you think that you would be on this journey of reality TV for as long as you have? Not at all. No. I think I heard Dad say earlier, we all thought if we just got past season two, then 
all right, we're good. Like, yeah. this was a great accomplishment. But now we're in season nine and... It's hard to believe. It's yeah. crazy. Like, we're the Chrisleys, Todd and Julie Chrisley. We live in a neighborhood north of Atlanta. I mean, we have literally seen the siblings, <laughs> the two of you, Grayson, Chloe as well, all mm -hmm. grown before our eyes. Chloe, she is just she's, precious as can oh, be. She's the boss. She, she is. truly is. But be very clear, they're 52 now. Why did you have to teach her math? And girlfriend can roll them eyes or kind of give you she, a look like yes. her what? looks. <laughs> She has that Chrisley, we, we call it chrisley <laughs> Um She has that Chrisley attitude. We have five children. Our oldest daughter is Lindsay. Lindsay is beautiful, she's smart, um, she's bitchy. The two of you are two of five children. And so sadly, we don't see a lot of Lindsay. We don't see anything of Lindsay anymore in the show. Kyle, your dad reconnected with him, reconciled with him last year. You know that I cannot welcome you back into our family until I know that you're where you need to be. Yeah, I want my family back, and I'll do whatever it takes in order to make that happen. What does your relationship look like with Lindsay and Kyle today, Case and Savannah? I love to see when anyone is doing well, uh, because never do I want to wish anything bad upon anyone, mm -hmm. especially my siblings. If they ever needed anything, yeah. I'm here for it. It's just everyone's kind of on a different path right now. Did, are you in communication with them at all? No, no, no. no. What about you, Chase? Um, I've talked to Kyle a little bit, and I mean, I'm proud of where he is today. Mm -hmm. um, he's definitely went through it, and he's come out on the other side. So I'm proud of him for that. I'm here if he ever needs anything. I'm here for Lindsay if she ever needs anything. For anything that Lindsay or Kyle has done, you know, I forgive you because for you to have done what you did, you just had to have been in a really crappy place in life. Mm -hmm. So. For that, I forgive them, and you know what? God's got a purpose and a plan, and at the end of the day, everyone, you you come back. Whether it's here on earth or in heaven, we're all gonna come back. As a whole, from our family, do we forgive Lindsay? Lindsay's forgiven. Um, will we ever forget it? Probably not. Um, will it ever be the way that I've envisioned in my life that it would be? Um, I don't know. So it sounds like things probably will never be the same. I don't know how they could ever be yeah. the same. I have watched her go out here and, and, and make these false misrepresentations um, to the press. Um, and, and it was funny to her. You know, this was, this was something that was gaining her notoriety. It was getting her name in the press. It was watching her numbers grow on social media. Um, that's what this was all about. On happier times, though, these two celebrating 25 years of wedded bliss for the most part, right? <laughs> wedded bliss. Bliss, baby, bliss. Uh, Savannah Chase, what do you think is the secret to these two being successfully married for 25 years? I think they just, I mean, they, they support each other. My mom's got his back and he's definitely got hers. I mean, loyalty. They, loyalty and they love each other unconditionally. Yeah. yeah. And I think especially in today's day and age, especially with social media and TV, it's, relationships are hard. But for them, I've seen them turn into each other instead of turning to other sources. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way to stay close, is to lean on each other. And they've set a perfect example of what we want and what is a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very sweet, very sweet. Thank you.